I'm Richard, I'm here with Chloe, who's one of the young promoters, who's just had the opportunity through us uh, to work on the tour with the Blackout. So how's it gone so far, Chloe? Uh, it's been great. They've been really lovely. Um, I know that the Blackout have been one of your favourite bands, and this is probably a dream come true. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, to the point where I have the lyrics tattooed on me. Have, so. they, have they seen them yet? No, Snow's new about it back in March, but I don't think any of the others do. I don't want to say anything because it's like creepy super fun. <laughs> okay. So, um, but yeah, no. So how One is, of my favourites. How is this experience help going to help you further in your career as you wanted to become a tour manager? Has that helped you in any way? Um, well, like obviously I've spoken to John quite a lot, who is the Black Eyed Soul manager for this tour and being on a tour kind of helps considering I've never done one before, so putting the door in there. Is it any is it different to what you imagined or is it exactly what you like Um It's different to what I imagined my first tour would be like, because I imagine my first tour would be like um, crashing at random people's houses who could put us up. But like obviously we're in hotels every night, it's a lot more classier than I imagined my first tour to be. It's comfy then. So, I was Sars from the Blackout, or Gareth Lawrence, you his real name. Um, name of, only my mother calls me. <laughs> full, name, full name. Well, you've done something wrong. Yeah, Gareth Lawrence. <laughs> Gareth Lawrence. Yes. Um, you've worked with being part of our part, the way you've been involved with us for about two years now. Uh, why do you think that Young Promoters Network is so important for the music scene? It's, it's done wonders, for, I think, for the Welsh music scene. Back, back a few years ago, say about 10, 10 years ago, so the Welsh music scene was massive for everyone. Loved going to gigs, helping each other out, blah blah blah, and then it just went, just went to the went to the dogs. But I think the white piano brought brought that back somewhat, and especially for the kids in the wrong, in the wrong the kind of tough area. It's, you see so much enthusiasm there for from kids who want to get into music, not just get in the industry, but just want to put gigs on and just want to go to gigs and all that. And it's, I think it's amazing. It? Like if I say, because Chloe's here with us, and I said to Chloe, if half of the kids around the UK who are into music, who, who say some, like you see so many Twitter profiles, oh, music is my life, music, blah, blah, blah. If half of those are in, in music as much as these kids are, we'd be all in good hands at the moment. Okay, um, you, we worked with you back in March, which was a massive dream come true for, I think, everybody there. Mm. Uh, we, so they've always, we've always looked up to you as a band and oh, nice. always grown up with you, so, and it's fantastic. How do you think, um, we get compared to other promoters. Class, uh, if anything, <laughs> a lot better than a lot of the promoters have been on, the, on this tour now. Yeah. Like you, we didn't, we weren't very demanding, I don't think. Well, I hope no. we weren't, but, but everything we asked for, everything that was asked of you, it was done, do you know what I mean, with, with no hesitation. And it was like, a, I saw to people in other bands before, like when they did the Fringe and Canterbury played, the, yeah. the TM of Canterbury was like, it's the best. Best running thing we've ever done. We said everything we've asked for, everything we've done, they've they they can not can not have enough help and everything. So yeah, it's amazing. It's good. Very good. Uh, we you touched on it part uh, just now uh, with Chloe. Why did you when Jay your normal merch man couldn't um, do this tour, why did you ask the Young Promoters Network to help straight away? One of the same reasons again, it's an enthusiasm I think you and everyone else at the YPN have got is I want to try and give someone an opportunity. I know it's not the greatest opportunity coming through with us and doing this, but it's it's a it's a start, isn't it? Yeah. So I thought to myself, it's because they were all saying, "Oh, we need to get a merch guy." Blah blah blah. And I said, "Look, look, let me just ask the YPN. As, yeah. long, as long as that, whoever's coming out is old enough, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if they if we want to go to clubs, they can come to clubs. And no, you know what I mean? Yeah, if they've got yeah, to be old yeah, enough. Yeah. And, but like, it's, it was my first idea. I was like, just give them a go, give someone a go. Because nobody was like, nobody was like, oh no, I don't want to give them a chance. And they were all like, well, yeah, if they can come and do it, let's do it. So that's when I got in touch with Spike and said, if you can recommend me any you want to do it from your lot, you'll give them a chance and I'll yeah. give them a foot up. But I'm glad Chloe came and do it as well. No, not over anyone else, but she kind of knows what she's doing as well. Yeah. Everyone knows what they're doing, but she's, she actually does that now as mm -hmm. a part-time job and stuff, and she's in the, in the academy in Bristol. Yeah. So she kind of had a head start anyway, compared to some other people, but it gives her a good start because she wants to go on tour and do stuff for bands, and this gives her a bit of a leg up, because she can always put on a CV now, you know, how, how much it'll help, I don't know. But she can always say, been on tour once, yeah. and got take, taken the mickey <laughs> out there because she likes Poxy Miranda. And this is fun, please. <sighs> God, she's sacked. <laughs> Definitely sacked. Not the next two. Yeah. Um, what would you say to any young person who 
wants to join the Young Promoters Network or wants to set their own live event, what would you say to them? Do it. Look, obviously, especially with the, with the YPN, if they want to get involved, do it because everyone is so, I guess everyone is so enthusiastic and, they, and if you don't know much about it, they will help you big time because everyone at the YPN is class. Yeah. So, it, like, if you've got reservations about joining YPN because this is what you want to do, don't because everyone is so friendly and so helpful that there's no, there's no clicks, there's no, you know what I mean, no nonsense. Everyone just want, wants to help everyone and get involved and we're a band today, which is cool.